Hey guys, quick note from Kelsey in the future. Before we start this episode, I wanted to say that hopefully you will notice a big upgrade in the music in this video. We finally made the big leap to using a company to source our music and it is Artlist. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are interested in knowing more about the back end of making YouTube videos, if you're doing that yourselves, we can make more videos about that. Just let me know if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And if you are making YouTube videos and you also want to use Artlist, I'll put a link below. And if you use that link, you can get two months free on your year subscription, but pretty excited about it guys. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is our rolling home Dusty. We hit the road full-time a few years ago to follow our dreams of driving around the world, and we headed south. We did it! COVID brought us back to the States, but there is plenty of adventure to be had here while we wait out the pandemic. So come along and enjoy this crazy ride we call life. Yeah, that, that road, that drive towards El Shelton, yeah. as we drove along it, you saw Fitzroy and the big mountains in the background. It's like that, but instead of a couple mountains with snow, it's, it's just solid horizon. It's all snowy mountains yeah. and uh, glacial ice. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, so we're almost to Haines Junction this yep. morning. Might stop and see if they have Wi-Fi or anything. That's been it. One difficult thing so far of this trip yeah. is finding Wi-Fi. It's all or even cell service. Yeah, cell service is uh, pretty Google limited. Pi is not the greatest so far. Yeah, Here. yeah. Well, in in Skagway and in some of the other stops, our phones showed full bars. Yeah. But they would not work, and so. Or it don't would know what go in is. and out like when you have like LTE wow, service, and then suddenly it was all gone and nothing. So I don't know what the deal was, but mm -hmm. it wasn't working very well. Sorry, I was distracted by the uh, beautiful views here. Yeah, the one, but, one thing is clear, I think, already in Alaska is video will not do it justice, and we could just film everything all day, all the time, and it's all beautiful. Yep. So we I have to know. decide. And I think we have to remember what is unique, too, because, it, you know, you, we haven't seen enough bald eagles yet to be bored of them, but at some point in this trip, I'm sure we'll be uh, another one, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. we'll try and get as much uh, good footage of stuff like that as we can. And hopefully we'll get a bear on camera. The one we got was sort of, as you saw, from the windshield. Yeah, I don't think um, it was. You could probably tell the there was something there, but video. you couldn't really tell what it was. Yeah. But I'm sure we'll see a lot more bears. Yep. We've already seen a ton of salmon. Yeah. Can't wait to eat some of those salmon. Yes. But anyways, that's what we're up to today. We're going to 
cross back into Alaska. I yeah, know, probably later days. today or yeah. tomorrow, but uh, could even be today. I don't know. We're just cruising, no real plans. And yeah. then we know there's like some flights you can take over some beautiful glacial areas. And so it'll kind of just depend on, you know, which one we want to do yeah, now or find. later in Alaska or I don't know. Yeah. We're not going to be able to afford to do all the flights. Yeah. So we got to choose which ones to do and everyone's got an opinion on which one's the best so all right well we'll keep we'll keep listening to our book while we drive and keep saying wow at every site we see wow <laughs> stop off and see everything we can see on the way yeah. back to Alaska. It is a gorgeous day today. It's yeah. it's warm and sunny, blue skies with these amazing mountains always in front of us. So uh, not a bad drive so yeah. far. little dock here that I am currently standing on. It's a little flimsy, a little movable, but it's cool, really pretty. Buckshot Betty works really hard and yeah. she seems very grumpy. She does. But uh, I bet you she's pretty cool too. Yeah, I'm sure once you catch her in a good mood and maybe <laughs> get her talking. Um, but yeah, we're going to cross into Alaska. Hopefully it'll go smoothly there. And uh, I have to say the roads, although paved, are quite undulating and it would yeah. be a very slow going if you have a big RV or yeah. something. Yeah, in a normal truck or SUV, assuming, you know, everything's tied down well. Um, you just drive normal speed, but we've seen the big dually trucks with a big slide-in camper, or the fifth wheels, or anything like that, or even little cars. Yeah. And they're driving along at like 30 miles an hour, and you might be able to tell we're, I don't think we've actually caught air. We have so much Not wheel quite, travel, yeah. but we've definitely gotten close to catching air on a couple of these bumps. Yeah. So it's a interesting paved road. And Certainly watching. not like bad. bad. No, Just no, not, it, yeah. Not like big huge potholes or yep. anything. It's more like I don't know if you'd call them sinkholes <laughs> or what. May have caught a little. But uh, <laughs> the slide, like the huge slide-in campers, are uh, they're interesting to watch. Yeah, they're having a tough time. Yeah, but soon we'll be back in Alaska. Woo! -hoo. We did it. We're back in the USA. Woo! Made it. Yep. So uh, we have a cool campsite that we found. 
well, potentially it's cool. Uh, yeah, so that's we'll where see. we're headed. We'll see how it is. It's not like a remote campsite or anything, but it has free canoes and that sounds pretty fun. So we're going to try and see how busy it is and how it looks. But that's where we're headed right now. Maybe an hour or so more of driving. Yeah. Then we get to sit and relax. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I figure we'll do plenty of remote camps and the reviews for this one were like, it's free, donations accepted, and you can use a canoe on a lake and they have firewood. And I was like, that sounds it's pretty not good. busy. That sounds pretty yeah. good. If it's busy, then nah. Eh, we'll pass. But everything's been so quiet so far. Yeah. Um, that I don't know what to expect. I assume it'll be quiet, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, pretty excited. They had been in successful operation some six weeks when Superintendent Steele returned. And hearing that they had arrived in Dawson, came looking for them along the riverfront. Yeah, we pulled over on the side of the road because we saw some moose. Meese? Mooses? Mooses. <laughs> And they are so big. Yeah. It's incredible. And there's a couple of them. I can only see one right now, and they're like up to their. The knees. male is massive. I mean, like, it I, doesn't I, make sense. Yeah, the size just blows your mind. That's so cool. Yeah. They're so big, huh? Yeah. It's like something, your eye kind of sees something the size of a horse. But then it's bigger, of course. His head is just massive. Look at that. And when he showed her how to use it in preparing pancakes while conserving this. This spot is pretty awesome, I have to say. I think it's gonna be a good night. What you got there? Got some wood. You gonna have a fire? Yeah. Are you excited? I am. Me too. <laughs> to have dry wood, a spot where you're allowed to have a fire, and it's actually gonna be cold out, sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so I figured I'd show you. Right there is the canoe that you can use for free. You can just go out on this beautiful little lake. It's pretty cool. And it is a beautiful day. Nice and sunny, as you can tell. Don't even need a sweatshirt right now. I will soon. In the shade, you need a sweatshirt still. Or I do, because I'm a wimp. Let's see what we can see. All right guys, we were walking around the campsite in true traveling fashion. We met somebody traveling too. This is Carl. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> he has a YouTube channel. It's uh, just Carl Kroll. With a K. Carl yep. with a K. Yeah, yeah. and he's uh, traveling on his bike down to hopefully Costa Rica. 
but he's already <laughs> traveled from Ushuaia up to Costa Rica, right? Yep, that is correct. And then COVID, like a lot of us, got in the way, and so he's doing the northern half now. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's just nice not servicing a bunch of stuff. And uh... <laughs> I love the little alpaca. Oh yeah, he's. We've from... got one of those in the car. I originally had one from Peru and yeah. it fell off. Oh no! Oh my God, that's this the guy's same from guy. Ecuador. Nice. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Bad. So it's on gas strut, so you can pull it down and oh. climb up, or but like you right can now, stand. totally. So right now you just you just push on it and it goes go, away. Go 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 go. <laughs> did yeah? Did Lars go in a video or did it take it? Uh, maybe it did. See him back. <laughs> I think my favorite part about traveling is actually the people that you meet because you yeah. have something already in common yeah. and you meet someone like that for maybe we talk to him for 45 minutes or half an hour even Yeah, and feels like a friend and that's yep. cool. The community on the neat. road is nice. Super neat. Like there's something special. Those so, people, they always seem very like, I don't know. Genuine. Yeah, very genuine, very in the moment yeah. because they've had to rely on other people's help just like we have, uh, yeah. of course, on a bike a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I think the, the cyclists are super special because they're so exposed to the elements, mm -hmm. to cars, to everything. Yeah. And so I love meeting them. And if you can ever help them, it's kind of a, and it's kind of a, a good feeling when you can go, what do you need? You need water? Yeah. Do you want a beer? Do you want um, compressed air? Is there, yeah. you know, chain lube, anything? Yeah. And so it's cool so I'll put all the links to his Instagram and he has a YouTube channel. So yeah. I'll put links below for that. And I can't uh, wait to watch that and see. I know. You know I'm him super traveling excited. We have no Wi-Fi right to, now. <laughs> no, and we haven't in a long time. So we wrote time. we wrote stuff down and uh, yeah, exchange stickers, which is yeah. if you ever travel, make a sticker because then you can mm. give it to people. That's kind of a fun thing. So totally, it's like your business card yeah. to kind of be like, well, here's the stuff I do, and then yeah. here's the stuff they do. So we're gonna get the fire back going because yeah. now it's a bit smoky. Yep. And uh, sit and enjoy that. Be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Your anxious heart may as well be stoned. Boy, we see down deeper than you know. Yeah, we see down deeper than you know. Be still. the beer that we got in white horse it's a lemon lavender or something which Ew. is weird but you gotta pop yours and we're gonna cheers what are you having? i didn't know those rules uh i am having yukon brewing again and this is their conspiracy ipa 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 it's not a pale ale Cheers. 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 Fake cheers. It's oddly good. Didn't expect to like it. Lavender beer. Might as well get pumpkin spice beer. <laughs> oh. You want to try it? Yes. Oh, God. No? This is horrible. <laughs> I think it's good. Well, I know you do. <laughs> I love you. That is disgusting. I think it's good. Okay. Just wear it around your neck. Did it feel so good? Mm -hmm. My mink. Tim's 
upsetting the uh, squirrels over there. They're yelling at him. <laughs> what you doing? Talking with the squirrel. He doesn't seem like very happy with you. No, we're buddies. He doesn't know we're buddies, but we're buddies. I think he's saying bad words to you. No, we can't. He wouldn't do that. Tim's going to show me his um, crazy, insane squirrel friend that he's convinced has some mental issues. You can hear him already. You call yourself the squirrel whisperer, Tim? No, oh, it's my bro. You sure makes a lot of noise. Yeah. Jump. Come on, buddy. You got this. Nice work. Whoa, oh, that's a good that was one. A far one. It's a little, little tiny baby mushroom and a little tiny pine cone. All right. It is, uh, I don't even know what it is, but we are almost, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. 